A group of YouTubers copied Mr. Beast and ended up killing a five-year-old baby. This video will give you all the details of what exactly did they do. This was the photo of the tragedy. A heavily destroyed Lamborghini after it crashed head-on with a small family car and killed a little boy inside it. Looking at this wreck, you can only imagine how painful the impact was for that five-year-old boy. And the worst part is that, of course, it's not just him who was inside that family car. His four-year-old sister and their 35-year-old mother were right there to see the little boy lose his life right in front of them. And none of this would have happened if only these YouTubers didn't plan a stupid challenge. Driving a rented Lamborghini for 50 hours straight. Just by saying that out loud, you know this would be a dangerous idea. And yes, they managed to crash a Lamborghini that wasn't even theirs. So why such a reckless act? Well, you can get it from their name, The Borderline. They are a group of Italian YouTubers with hundreds of thousands of followers for pretty much just copying Mr. Beast. 24 hours on the mini raft, 24 hours on the ferris wheel without getting off, 50 hours lost in the snow, 50 hours in maximum security prison. You get it. Like most of these types of YouTubers, they love the extremes. In fact, they have so little creativity that even their thumbnails look exactly the same like Mr. Beast. There are so many creators around the world who are basically like them. They imitate every single challenge in their own languages and just kind of make a cheaper version of Mr. Beast original. And they do it every single week. Until what would be their last tragic video ever. Lamborghini, ragazzi, sta andando tutto bene, anche se non scendiamo, le mie si sono. This was them right before the accident. They were excited to film the challenge. One of them even posted a funny TikTok with the sports car. Cos'è la Lamborghini? The idea was to drive around for a straight 50 hours with this rented Lamborghini and if they succeed, they'll get prizes. Five people were inside that car doing the silly challenge with the 20-year-old influencer Matteo Di Pietro at the driver's seat. And everything would be fine if this was just a regular drive. But of course, the borderline wouldn't do that. They are just a bunch of irresponsible responsible teenagers. The group was reportedly even taunting other drivers while speeding and attempting to overtake other cars. This reckless behavior is exactly how it got to this. A crash that made a mother and a young sister injured and a little boy dead. All for some stupid YouTube challenge. Five-year-old Manuel Prioetti was rushed to hospital, but despite the efforts of emergency responders to revive him. He died immediately after the accident. Right after this, the police seized the phones of all the teenage passengers. The Borderline channel posted a video apologizing to the victims and announcing they will not be making content anymore. While one of the guys inside the Lamborghini just shared his grief through an Instagram comment. The trauma I am experiencing is indescribable. I just want to say that I have never been behind the wheel and that I am very close to the victim's family. <sighs> Honestly, the easiest thing to do is to just simply hate these YouTubers, these pranksters, these people who make these challenge videos. I seriously cannot imagine what rage I would feel if someone I love dies because of a group of YouTube copycats. But I will take it a step further and tell you my unpopular opinion. We can go out and hate all these influencers, these pranksters and these people who make these challenge videos. But in my opinion, the main problem are the platforms. As someone who's about to hit 10 billion global views on meaningful content, I can tell you from my experience that platforms like YouTube, Facebook or TikTok make it too easy for simplistic, idiotic content to perform. Pranks, silly challenges. You are much more likely to get millions of views by being the borderline than by being the project nightfall and that is a huge problem when will we finally wake up and understand that the creators who create content that expands the minds of their audiences should receive way more support with their videos than the creators who create 
trash. Currently, the algorithms support more of this, but I will never stop fighting for the day when the platforms instead support great, meaningful content that doesn't put other people's lives at risk.